Hey everybody, it's Professor Paralyte, and welcome back to more Let's Play Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last part, I jumped off this cliff right here, which was very, very fun. I really personally loved jumping off that cliff. In this part, we're going to try not to jump off the cliff, despite how much fun it was. And we're actually going to try and get that special weapon I was trying to get the last time. So, like I said before, hit the switch. And yeah, I'm still going to go the hard way because I have a flat learning curve. Alright, this time I think I can make it though, so it's all good. Here we go. Here we go. Up, 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 up. Ignore the keys. And get the special item of specialness. And this is yet another one of my all-time favorite weapons ever. The Megaton Hammer. How freaking beast does that sound anyway? I mean, come on. That thing is amazing. The Megaton Hammer is a special weapon of this dungeon. It can be used in place of your sword, though I don't personally do that because you can't use your shield when you're doing that. Um, it's a very, very good weapon. And it's got a lot of applications outside the Fire Temple. Give me a sec to kill his keys. Alright. Please give me a heart. Nope. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's the hammer that the Gorn used to slay the dragon in the legend we were told earlier. So, guess what we have to do? Go slay the dragon with a hammer. How awesome. So, anyway. Going back over here. To the special little platform we couldn't do anything about earlier. Now what you gotta do is take out your nice little Megaton hammer. And whack it. Down it goes. And here we are. We're on our way to a shortcut back down. What you gotta do here is whack that statue. And it disappears into oblivion for some reason when you hit it with your hammer. I don't know exactly why, but it does. And come on, die bad. Get rid of them real quick so they're not annoying. We have a third Megaton hammer right off the bat. Hit that to create a staircase, which is very epic. I always love how they made staircases in this game. Anyway, so. Put away your Megaton Hammer, grab one of these boxes, because you're going to need them, and it's a bummer to go down there and discover that you wanted one of these boxes. Because we have one of these weighted switches that we saw on Lord Jabba Jabba's belly back in the day. Press it, and open the door. Little thing right there, and... We're about to get a really, duh, obvious Navi statement here in a moment. As if we don't get those all the time. Hit another one. They're really working this Megaton Hammer thing, aren't they? Anyway, this will give you a nice little shortcut back here. So, here's Navi's, um, Navi's obvious statement. This switch looks rusted. Helpful. Thanks, Navi. Ah, uh, dumb. Anyway, so switches you have to hit with your Megaton Hammer. Don't worry, they don't reset after a certain time. Just hit them once. Blah, blah. Anyway, so there's another one of our happy little block dailies. What you want to do is just play your, um, so your time to move that. And... We can finally free that Gorn that was um, trapped earlier. Anyway, that was a weird shot right there. Get on top of it real quick and jump over to where the block used to be where there's another rusted button. Hit it with your Megaton Hammer to free the Gorn. And down we go. Alright. Come on, tell us your little secret. And yeah, he just told us that statue thing that we just now learned earlier, so... Yep. A little bit late with that um, little hub flint there, buddy, but whatever. Anyway, get his small key and be on your way. Alright, there you go. Now, I believe you want to go out this way. I don't know. I'm not entirely certain. It's just a matter of speed, really. Um, dang it, other side. I want to be out the other side. Okay, so... We'll go outside with the um, uh, time block, I'm going to call it. So, backtrack this puzzle here that gave me so much trouble on the way here. Ought to be interesting how much trouble it gave me. And now I'm trying to backtrack it. Okay, that's that same wall got me last time. Anyway, going over here. Okay. Fake doors. I'm not going to play with that thing right now. Now, I believe what you want to do is go up here. Jump onto this thing, and I did not want that at all. Hit this. I actually didn't want to be on it, but, um, okay. Oh, wait, no, no, wait, no, pa pain sound effect, what? Oh, that's bogus. Oh, well, whatever. So this will bring us to the same room where Duram and I went in to face the boss earlier, but since we don't have the boss key, we can't go there just yet. Instead, what you want to do is head back over here to 
the main entrance. Jump down here to avoid the keys. And... Oh, hey. I don't even think I noticed this the first time I went through here. Let's investigate this real quick because I'm having a... I wonder if there's something... Oh, right. Him. There's the boss key. I probably should have mentioned that the first time I came through here, but we couldn't have done anything about it, so... I guess... I'm in the clear for that, so... Anyway, going over here to another one of these, um... Statue dealies. Whack it away. I wonder what happens if you, like, waste your small key on... Oh, you couldn't. You see it on the main thing. Never mind. Anyway, go through here. And... Here we go. Now, I believe there's something weird in this room. I can't remember exactly what. The time being, just kill all these enemies. There we go. Two for one. The last one here. Last two, I guess. Get that thing. Dumb keys. Alright. One more to kill. I've lost a lot of health. Oh, health. Yay. Ooh, more health. Yay. Awesome. That one key's reducing the entire battle to nothing. Let's kill this guy real quick. And there we go. Yep, just a little battle room. Pretty simple. Nothing special. Let me just check something real quick, because... Yeah, okay, I got it. Never mind. It's all good. This room is dumb. Flying tiles. I believe we need to shield them, but... Um, yeah. Do they have a name, I wonder? Because now that you had a little info. No, I guess not. Anyway, there are only five of these things. And that enemy right there. This thing is dumb. This is a like-like. I hate this thing. A lot. If... This thing eats you, it will take your shield and your clothes, and they're hard to get back, because if you don't beat it, your gear will come back, just like Navi said. I literally just like read Navi a lot there. And you have to buy a new one if you don't do it in time. Fortunately, they're susceptible to bombs, so no worries. Another enemy that scarred my childhood right there. Just thought I'd mention that. I'm going to kill you with a hammer. Ha ha. Now, let me check something real quick. I think you can destroy this wall, but don't hold me to that. No, um, let me just check something here. Um... Alright, I don't remember exactly where that wall was. There's a destroyable wall with the last golden control of this dungeon in it, but I can't remember, I seem to remember exactly where. Um... Oh, yay, rematch with the Flare Dancer. And I believe this time you can use your Megaton Hammer on it. Yep, there we go. So that makes things worlds easier because the bombs are a little bit hard to deal with. Okay, didn't want to do that at all. Oh, he's in a hurry, ain't he? Come on, baby. And hit him again. I love the Megaton Hammer, it's a great item. It really just does make things worlds easier. Got a lot more use to do than I saw got into either. Alright, so chasing back around to this side. Three matches are bogus anyway. Alright. Around the bisky. I don't know why I keep saying bisky. It's a really old phrase. I say the absolute least. And why did I get my hook shot? I was just established its use. Okay, buddy, I bet you think you're funny, don't you? Yeah, I thought that was hysterical. I'm the only funny guy around here. That is so not true. I make my jokes all the time. Alright, come on. Around again. Hit him again. Die already. I don't think your Megaton Hammer is quite as powerful as your Master In fact, I'm pretty sure it's not. My best is to go back to using the Master and hurt this guy. Ooh, that got some range. And I bet if I can hit with my, um, Megaton Hammer, I can hit with my sword, so... Yeah. Alright, there we go. I guess they're about the same strength. Even though I'm not don't seem to be doing much damage. But anyway, okay, that was cheap. There he goes. And I do not believe this elevator does anything. Or I don't think it's actually an elevator at all. However, just get us a nice little treasure chest. Let's go check that real quick. Hop up here. And there we go. Bombs. There's a smack in the face for you. Uh, how useless. And... Wait a second. 
Uh. Nope, I'm delusional. Ignore me. Okay. Moving on. Save this Goron. And we'll get the big key. Boss key. It's only big key in Moon Waker. Open this. Ignore the imprisoned Warren. For Warren. Goron for the moment. And. There we go. Alright, let's talk to him real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Dromon has a brother. What do you know? Huh, how cool. Alrighty then. Well, that's quite enough for this part. In the last part, uh, or not the last part, in the next part of Let's Play Zelda Ocarina of Time, we will go face the boss and the, get the final goal to solve this dungeon as soon as we figure out where exactly it is. And, uh, yeah. Guess this will be the, that'll be the end of the Fire Temple. Alright, see y'all next time.